Hi everybody, Kira Gillette here, author of the Zarya Fierce series. I'm here to teach you guys how to make your own version of the Ketu Peli board, which Zarya Fierce and Grimkel play on in book two of the Zarya Fierce series, Zarya Fierce and the Enchanted Drakeland Sword. So the first thing you'll need is your supplies. You'll want to get these little wooden spools, which you would use to put on um, thread for sewing. You'll want to get little tiny dowels, which are slightly bigger than a toothpick. And uh, in term, and they're much steadier too than a toothpick. It's very hard. You can't bend these. They're very um, non-flexible. And uh, you want your dowel to be smaller than the spool because you'll want them to be able to um, fit as a lock and key type mechanism because the dowels will be used to build your pegs and the spools are where you'll build your game board. Um, the other thing you will need is little teeny tiny clothespins, like the ones you can get from a craft store, which is where I got all of my items. Um, and it's, uh, it's not necessary that they actually open and work because you won't be needing them for that function. I thought they looked like little fox heads. Whoops, I dropped it. Um, and that's why I got them, because the board is um, a board game about foxes, because it literally translates into the fox game from Finnish. And um, so you just want something that you can kind of like design, and you can either paint them. In my case, I use little like tiny black um, seed beads to make like their noses. And um, so it was a lot of fun and it's really easy to do. All you're going to need for this entire project uh, to put it all together is some um, hot glue and a hot glue gun. And um, so you'll want to just regular standard glue and a regular standard glue gun and you're good to go. And uh, so um, the first thing you want to do is you want to design the board so it actually has the correct number of spacing. So as you can see, this is the spacing that you'll do to create your board game. You start at four and you increase by one in each row until you get to eight. And then you decrease by one until you get back down to four, which give you 52 places to put your pegs. In the game, you only need 51 pegs because you'll have one that floats as people move pegs around trying to confuse people in order to play the game. Now, what you'll need is to take your spools and you'll take your hot glue gun and you'll put it around the edge and then you will stick it down onto your board. And it's just that simple. And then over here with your peg and your little clothes pin, you're going to try to make it look like a fox. So what you want to do is you want to put hot glue into the little hole and then you'll stick your dowel through it so that it comes through the other side. This gives it some stability. And you'll take your little seed bead and you'll put it on top to create a nose. And then when you have all 51 of your pegs created, you will dip them into little, um, little spots of paint that you have. You'll need 50 um, one pegs in total and it'll be 30 black, 20 red, five blue, three green, two yellow, and one white. And you want to keep it down here at the end of the peg and you don't want it to go up and over on your dowel because when you play it, you don't want people to see what the color is. And not that we're saying anybody cheats, but if someone looks down in there, they might be able to tell what color it is. So that's why you keep it very minimal and you keep it on just the very base of the peg. And uh, if you have any problem when you're working on this and you're putting the, the dowels through the clothespins, you, you know, you lost the heat on your glue, um, you can just take the metal edge of your hot glue gun and you can rub it on the glue that dried and it will heat it back up so you can put your seed beads back on without having to do extra glue. And uh, there you have it, the Ketchup Pelly board. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. And I would love to see your final creations. This is how my sister helped me to decorate this one. And we divided our space over here into player one and player two spacing. So that way you can count points if you play version one. Or if you play version two, you'll know who has won. And uh, that's it. Have a good one.